Hey everyone, I'm Vicki and I'm here to share with you my fit and fancy fitness reality. How I got on this journey was I noticed that a lot of my friends, all my age in our 30s, seem to be struggling with our weight. Despite how often we would go to the gym and monitor what we ate, we all noticed that as we started getting a little bit older, our weight was slowly creeping up and the things we used to eat, couldn't eat it anymore. The things we used to do, couldn't do it anymore. The clothes we used to have, couldn't wear it anymore. So that is how I got on this whole fitness journey. In addition to that, my boyfriend, he is a former bodybuilder. And so I started to notice the specific ways that he would eat certain things and how hard he would go into the gym. And so I would ask some questions and he and I started working out together. And we started talking about me becoming a figure competitor. A figure competitor is a level of fitness within the bodybuilding world. Um, it's where we are slightly more muscular than the other categories, but not as muscular as the women bodybuilders. So last year in 2014, of January, I went ahead and got me a fitness coach, competition coach rather, outside of Greensboro, North Carolina. And he and I met on a monthly basis and he gave me a meal plan that was geared toward adding muscle to my size. The biggest component to that as well as the nutrition was the fitness part. And I was always uh, pretty much into fitness. I had been working out since I was 16 years old and now I'm in my 30s. So I would say almost 20 years worth of exercising. But what I realized was that I wasn't going hard enough in the gym. And we as ladies, we tend to not go hard enough in the gym because we think, oh, we're gonna start looking like a man. Well, listen up ladies, we are not built to look like men, all right? Unless you're taking some supplements that are going to add masses amounts of muscle on you, going hard in the gym will not cause you to look like a man. So last year, I started going really hard in the gym, really forcing my muscles to grow, really started monitoring my nutrition by using a concept called macros, which looks at the certain amount of protein, fats, and carbs that you intake on a daily basis. Because most of us, we just may be on this low carb diet, but we don't understand it or the Atkins diet and we don't understand it. But once you start looking at the certain amount of protein, fats and carbohydrates that you eat on a daily basis, you will start to see your body change and respond to the certain macros that you're now ingesting. And so that's what I started doing regarding my nutrition. In addition to taking supplements that I would buy in the stores in between my coach my meal plans and my workout plan that prepared me for my first show last year in June of 2014 where I competed in the Gold Classic in Wilmington, North Carolina. Well, I did really great in that show. It was my first show, so I entered the Novice Division. And within the Novice Division, I was awarded second place in my first show. So that was incredibly exciting. And lo and behold, two weeks later, I decided to enter my second show, which was in Albemarle, North Carolina. Now, keeping in mind that the shows were only two weeks apart from one another, all right? But because my body was in such a conditioned form, I actually lost even more weight. And unfortunately, I lost muscle for that show. So I did get third place in that show. However, the feedback from the judges indicated that I was well conditioned, but I basically got out muscled by the other girls. So that was the end of June. So basically from the end of June until today, I have spent the entire off season lean bulking. And what lean bulking means I'm adding size to my frame, but keeping my body fat low. 
And so far, that has been really, really a great thing for me. So in addition to increasing my protein intake to hold on to my muscle and taking additional supplements, I've been able to add roughly about 20 pounds of muscle over the last mm, six or seven months. So right now, my body fat is at 14% body fat and I have about 121 pounds of lean muscle which is a great starting point so that takes me now into our brand new season getting ready to start here in Charlotte North Carolina my first show that I'm planning to compete in is in April so right now we are approximately about 10 weeks out from that show so in addition to my goal of adding muscle which I'm doing very good at. I also decided to have breast augmentation. And for me, I felt the breast augmentation would add more symmetry and proportion to my body. So my breast augmentation surgery is actually scheduled for next Tuesday. And in preparation for the surgery, I had to stop taking all of my supplements. So I don't know about you, but us competitors, Taking our supplements become a part of our daily regimen. So I had to stop taking all of my multis, all of my glutamines, all of my supplements because the surgeon felt that they may affect my blood pressure during the operation. So what I've been doing is really focused on my nutrition, really been focused on keeping my protein up because the protein is going to help speed up the recovery process. And also because I chose to have my surgery under the pectoral muscle, that means my recovery time is going to be a little bit longer. So I won't be able to do chest exercises the way you normally would during a, a preparatory period for your show, but hopefully I'll still be able to do upper body exercises. And of course, I will definitely be able to do lower body exercises. So I'm really excited about this new journey coming up here in April and I look forward to bringing a wonderful package for you all and of course sharing the journey with all of my friends out there. Thank you.